Hello everybody. Welcome yet again to Brainy Classes and this is Brainy Films, the first session of this eight week presentation. I've changed the format and there are several reasons that we've done this. Let me say up front, this is my dream format that I can just talk for a very short time, which I will try to do, not a long time. <clears throat> but the idea is to bring films to people that they wouldn't see otherwise, or probably not, maybe not. And not only that, do you see the films? I work as a curator and I take great pride then in selecting what I select. So I am bringing you these films that I think you might not see otherwise. Not only the film, but when you get these presentations that we are sending to you just so that you click on the site, these are films that are really hard to get. And I've experienced like with the dream life of angels, which I wanted to do earlier and nobody could get hold of it. So now we are sending it to you. And not only will you get the film, you will get the extras with all that we can do. Please click on the extras after you see the film. I assume if you're taking a film class that you're interested in film, that you're interested in how it's made and who these artists are who make it. And the films we see are made by artists. These are not people in it to make piles of money and all the nonsense that we know goes on. These are people who love making films. And so please watch the extra presentations on the film that we're having today, Jinzabin. Um, the, the, the extra with the director talking is worth 10 film classes. So I'm begging you to watch that. Maybe I'll test you. You never know. Anyway, but do watch, you know, maybe you don't want to watch it. You want to watch the movie and then right, but you've got the site. All you have to do is click on this. Okay. So I have some notes to keep me going. So I don't wander off in different directions. We have different films that I've chosen and I sent you the list and you know, I always reserve the right to withdraw or add, but mostly this is, this is pretty much written in stone now. I just want to mention one thing, or one or two of the films. Petulia, 1968, if any of you remember 1968. The movie was sensational. The movie was not a commercial success. I've read so much about it and I research all this and so many people said, what in the hell is this movie about? I, I saw the movie. I never doubted what it was about. I thought it was extremely clear. So when we see Petulia, of course, you'll get my talking about it. Um, but then you'll hear the director talking about it. And especially you'll hear the producer talking about it, what he saw in the film. These are, fi these are important films. That film capsulizes 1968 so beautifully that it's like a piece of history. Uh, Dream Life of Angels is another one that, that's very hard to get. Heartbreaking. That was at the very beginning of the breakdown of the guest laborer situation in Europe, which evolved into the migrant situation. So they are pieces of history and they're so well done. Um, let me see if there's anything. Oh, the only other one I want to mention in, in today, because of course I'll be talking again, La Ceremonie, which is Claude Chabel. Many people, this is like a classic. This is one of the great of the genre of, you could say horror films, but you don't know it's a horror film till the end. And it's not, they, they classify it as that, only because there's some gruesomeness involved. However, a film like this, I, I mean the cast, I can't go on too long, but following that, please watch Claude Chabelle talk. So I'm emphasizing that, you know, this is more than just the movie that I'm presenting. I'm trying to move along here. Okay. Um, we can go now to Jin Debin. This is from a Ray Carver short story. And most of you know that Raymond Carver, the great short story writer, the great poet, underestimated, underappreciated, is you know one of my icons. I first read his short stories. It was the first writer I ever read that I thought wrote about life the way it really is. 
So, this particular short story, we have Chicago traffic here at the studio. There's Chicago traffic competing with me. Um, this particular short story was Carver's remuneration thinking about the strength of nature in our lives and also morality. What's the moral thing to do? And I just want to say, because we're seeing this film today, and yesterday the book class did the red parts, and I realized yet again the link. The book, and I don't do this purposely, it just happened. The book and this film questions to me something I have often thought about and anybody who has had small children and had their husband go away for a long time or you will hear from the wives of military men serving abroad will tell you that the flow of life is so strong especially when you have children but for everybody the flow of your life is so strong there's so much you have to do there's so many things that demand your attention that grief respect, mourning, can take on some very questioning positions in your life. Some, for instance, in the book, The Red Parts, the, that is exactly what the book is examining. The person is dead, and as they say in this film, one of the lines, well, she's dead, she doesn't know anything. So it takes on this question, and I think about it often. Do you just push forward and go on? How much time do you spend mourning? What is grief? The church gives very, very strict guidelines, and that's why religion has held up so long. But now a lot of us are drifting out of that. I never even drifted in, but many people are drifting out. And there's no, there's no set way to react to things. So think about that when you're seeing the movie. Um, I, watching the movie, was horrified when I saw their reaction, but question it further. Anyway, so this was originally, you may recognize the, the, the plot line from Shortcuts, the movie that was so successful, made from many of Ray Carver's short stories, and this was one of them. Now, enter uh, Ray Lawrence. Oh, same name. He's the director of the great, great, great Lantana, which we have seen several times in this class. And see it again. It is just a fantastic film. So he directed that before this and then came to this and said, look, we will take this story from Raymond Carver, transfer it to Australia, rewrite it a little, bring in the theme of indigenous people, which is extremely timely and important in Australia. So they changed the story a little bit, but the same guidelines. What is morality? The strength of nature pushing us all along in life. Um, it's all the same themes. Trying to keep myself going here. Um, so it was, all, the other thing I wanted to say that this movie is just exquisite in the filming, I think you will agree. I mean, the beauty of the terrain. This is the Delgadi, wait a minute, I wrote it down. Delgadi Plain. It's in southeastern Australia, I believe. This is just absolutely exquisite. Please, the performances. Gabriel Byrne, he's always good. Laura Lenny, she's always good. They're very good in this. So, as we see this film, I'm, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail because that is why I am putting these extras on. You'd rather hear it from the director, the producer, the actors than me. Okay, so join me for the film and next week we'll have another one. And I hope you like this new format. I like it. I think it's going to, to work really, really well. Email, I'll still be emailing you and I'll still be sending you more links to follow up. Okay, so welcome back to Brainy Films.